What is up my valid peeps, Cadian here for another video on my OC project, Stalgis the Amber Saviour. If you haven't checked out my previous two videos on this project, I suggest you go watch those before this one to get a better understanding of this project. Now while there are no new characters like last time, I do have some other new stuff to show off, so with all that being said, be sure to comment your thoughts or any questions you may have about the project, like, subscribe and share this video, and let's get started. As you can tell here, the logo hasn't changed at all since the last video, where I was fine with the title but was only okay with the logo, but since then it has significantly grown on me. Oh, and I should have mentioned this last time, the logo was made on a website called canva.com, which is where I also made my current Twitter and YouTube banners. Not sponsored by them or anything, just thought I'd let y'all know. Next up, I got some updates for the desiderate techniques from last time. I'll start with style just like I did then. A four original ones have changed slightly in how they can be used. Style just punch can now be done with any sort of punch and not just a straight punch. Style just kick can now be done with any sort of kick and not just a flying side kick. Style just slash can now also be done with an amber colored desiderate energy sword that style just can generate in her hands. Style just blast has changed quite a bit rather than a charged up explosive energy sphere. This technique is now an amber coloured desiderate energy beam or projectile that can be shot from either Stalgis' arms or hands, and sometimes explodes upon hitting something. Now Stalgis has a new technique compared to last time, Stalgis Growth. This desiderate technique allows Stalgis to grow in height for 3 minutes at a time after charging amber coloured desiderate energy throughout her whole body, however this technique exhausts Stalgis after using it. Now none of Edgenary's original 3 techniques have changed at all. But they do get two new ones, bring her up to 5 equal with Stalgis. First up is Edgenary Vine Snare, which allows Edgenary to create one more plant vines covered in purple coloured desiderate energy that she can control at will. Secondly is Edgenary Lightning, which allows Edgenary to send one or more purple coloured lightning bolts at their target. Before I move on to the next thing, some behind the scenes stuff regarding desiderate techniques. All of the new techniques in this video were previously unused ones for Stalgis. Stalgis Growth was originally called Stalgis Enlarge and didn't exhaust her after using it. Edgenary Vine Snare was originally called Stalgis Vine. And Edgenary Lightning was originally called Stalgis Lightning. Currently, there are 9 unused desiderate techniques that I haven't given anyone yet. Whether or not I'll bring them back in the future, I don't know. Next up are some visuals I've made being posters. These are split up into three types, which are further split up into four categories of three posters each, making for 36 posters altogether. The first type of poster is hero posters, featuring either Stalgis or Urgenary on their own, or both of them together. First are just the ones with the logo at the bottom. Then no logo, but the hero's name and their transformation phrase at the top. Then both of the previous two combined, and lastly, neither of the first two. The second type of poster is civilian posters, featuring either Kayla or Tessa on their own, or both of them together. First are just the ones with the logo at the bottom, then no logo but the character's name at the top, then both of the previous two combined, and lastly neither of the first two. The third and final type of poster is helmetless slash maskless hero posters, featuring either Stalgis helmetless or Edgenary maskless on their own, or both of them together. First are just the ones with the logo at the bottom, then no logo but the hero's name and their real name at the top, then both of the previous two combined, and then neither of those first two. Now as I explained back in the first video, the more someone truly enjoys something they love, the more positive desiderate energy they have, and if they have enough of it, they will become a desideran. However, I never actually mentioned what Kayla and Tessa enjoyed so much that they became desiderans. So now's as good a time as any to explain it for each of them, starting with Kayla. Now as I explained in the first video, Kayla greatly enjoys making videos surrounding her interests and uploading them online, along with streaming, which gives her a great deal of positive desiderate energy along with watching various shows of the tokusatsu genre and engaging in pop culture. These are the main subjects of her videos and she loves talking about them with her friends. Next up is Tessa. Now, despite being apathetic, she does actually have enough positive desiderate energy to transform. Tessa's main source of high positive desiderate energy comes from reading and watching mythology and science fiction books and movies, especially on her own. 
While not apparent from an outside perspective, Tessa takes great joy in these activities. They are both interests they've enjoyed for most of their life, though she isn't as expressive about them as she used to be. Next up is the setting of Star Just the Amber Saviour, the hometown of Kayla and Tessa, and that is a large town called Arcult. A town built very recently, many new people have arrived there lately, opening up businesses and filling up the houses and a few apartments built there. These people have come from many different places, seeking to make a new living in this fresh place. On to the last couple of things for the video. The first one is quite a big one, honestly. And it's the synopsis for the first season of Star Wars The Amber Saviour. Yeah, there's going to be more than one season of this, and I have something for season 2 planned, but I won't be showing that this video. Anyways, I don't think I'm going to ever write full episodes for Star Wars, but down the line maybe I'll give some ideas for some episodes. Anyways, season 1 synopsis is as follows. In the recently built town of Arcult, people are creating new lives for themselves many enjoying what they do. However, some people have started becoming more violent and sightings of monsters called derelicts have been higher here than many other places. Kayla Osrin, one of Arcult's newest residents, has recently discovered she has a special energy that allows her to not only fight the derelicts, but also transform into a superhero dubbed Stalgis, the Amber Saviour. What are the origins behind the derelicts and Kayla's special energy? And will she be able to save the town from the dangerous monsters that appear in it? And that's it! As it implies, Kayla Osrin and Stalgis will debut at the start of the series, being the main character and her hero identity. Tessa Glyph appears a quarter of the way through the first season, but doesn't become legendary and join the fight against the derelicts until around halfway in. After Hedgenary joins the fight, the two heroes initially butt heads, having rather different personalities, but work together better, though not perfectly, after learning of each other's true identity. Finally for the video is a written compilation of all the stuff I've talked about for Style Just the Amber Saviour up till this point, in the form of a Google document, the link for which shall be located in the description for this video. As future updates for Style Just the Amber Saviour are released, the document will be updated accordingly. And now that's it for the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, comment what you thought of the updates for the Style Just project, along with any questions you may have. Remember the link for the Stalgis document is in the description below and I'll see you all valley peeps next time. Bye!